While his siblings and the Prince and Princess of Wales enjoyed a day out, Prince Louis seemed hilariously unbothered about the whole event. Prince Louis was pictured giving a shy wave and looking unimpressed as the Princess of Wales helped him climb onto a quad bike during a family day out. The royals were snapped attending the RAF Fairford in Gloucestershire, in England's southwest, for the Royal International Air Tattoo on Friday, reported The Sun. As always smash the like button and subscribe to this channel, this way you won't miss our next video in this same channel. William and Kate, both 41, and their young children were seen looking around and marveling at the celebration of aviation. And even the wet weather could not dampen their spirits with the royals arriving excitedly and waving to hundreds of fans who braved the rain. Louis V was later seen giving a wave to the cameras while sitting astride a quad bike. He stuck close by to Princess Kate as she helped him onto the off-road vehicle. George and Charlotte also appeared to be enjoying their family day out with their parents with school out for summer. While a smartly dressed George was almost a carbon copy of his dad as he was pictured confidently greeting RAF staff and event organizers. The young royals seemed to be thrilled by their surroundings they shared smiles while checking out equipment. The trio enjoyed a day of jets, helicopters and historic planes as their school holidays began in earnest. It was a return visit for George who was taken to the show by his parents in 2016, aged three, and was pictured wearing ear defenders at the time. The tattoo is the largest military aviation show in the entire world and this year is officially the biggest ever. The event features more than 250 planes from roughly 58 countries, as well as flying display teams like the famous Red Arrows. And the plane that carried the Queen's coffin back to London from Edinburgh is one of those taking center stage at a military air show. The C-17 Globemaster III is one of the planes that can be visited. The Prince and Princess of Wales have a strong relationship with the RAF, with William having served with the search and rescue force for over three years. The airshow will carry on over the weekend before the event officially ends on Sunday, July 16. The Princess of Wales has also confirmed she will return to Wimbledon to watch the Lady Singles final on Saturday. Kate was last seen at Wimbledon sharing a joke with tennis legend Roger Federer as she enjoyed the day in the royal box. The Princess of Wales looked chic in a green and white ensemble as she took to the stands last week. She and the retired Swiss tennis superstar were seen chatting and laughing. Eight-time Wimbledon champion Federer, who retired last year, had joined Kate in a video before this year's tournament started. But Kate had to flee the rain when supporting young British star Katie Bolter on nearby Court 18. Kate had made a rare royal appearance at one of the smaller courts for Bolter's encounter but headed to centre court for Murray's match and a reunion with Federer. Meanwhile, Prince William visited Wistman's Wood on Dartmoor, an ancient woodland on Duchy of Cornwall land. William gained ownership of the estates following his father's accession to the throne following the passing of the Queen last year. Both the Prince and Princess typically attend the finals of Wimbledon and also present trophies to the winners. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when next we drop a video in this same channel, stay safe.